Welcome back to Terry's Corner. Today is an interesting topic. We're going to talk about the three things that I learned from clients that I never thought I would learn from a client. First, one of my dearest clients, going to remain nameless, bought at the height of the market in 06 and 07. His job kind of expired and he called me up and he said he wanted to sell his home. I knew what I had sold it to him for and I knew he was upside down by still another 60 grand. So I did his bidding, we did the best we could, we marketed his home lickety split, we got it absorbed. Sitting around at the settlement table, I asked him, and he's a guy my age, I asked him, I said, you just wrote a check for $60,000 to sell your house on top of the original 120 grand that you put down. Why wouldn't you have just held on to the home? He looked me in the eye and he said, house cost me five grand a month to carry. He said in my 13th month from now, my cash flow just improved by $5,000 a month. I just thought that was so profound. So he saw his problem he fixed his problem by writing the check. He wasn't using the property. He wasn't enjoying the property. Had to relocate. And he just wrote the check to move on from the property. He didn't let it chase him down the rat hole and follow the money down the drain. Since then, that home still has an appreciated lick. So he'd have probably made another eight years of mortgage payments. But instead, he ripped the band-aid off and moved on. Great lesson, hard to learn as a homeowner, young or old. Sometimes when it's going bad, you just gotta rip the band-aid off after you analyze the situation. Had another situation, like and similar, the 06, 07 market caused us some angst. This particular client came to me and made noise about renting or not renting to help keep them whole in the mortgage that they had to pay. We had a heart-to-heart -heart discussion and he knew in his heart of hearts that he did not have the stomach or the aptitude for being a landlord. He knew in his heart of hearts that he couldn't be a landlord. So he did the same thing as the first client. He cut bait and fished. He sold that property as opposed to being a landlord and making himself uncomfortable. Two really valuable lessons. If it didn't go well on the way in, get out. And if you don't think you have the aptitude, or the disposition to be a landlord that don't force it on yourself. Two really good things that owners have taught me. The next one, I've been blessed. Since 1983, I've been helping people buy houses. So here it comes. I figure about 80 houses a year for 30 years. I've helped about 2,400 people buy and trade property. Of those 2,400 people, I believe in my heart of hearts, I don't have to take a second glove off to count the number of people that have lost their homes due to foreclosure or short sales. This is a lesson that I've learned over the years. I sit down with people, I look them in the eye, can you really afford this property? It may seem odd. My job as a commissioned salesperson is to throw commissions in there. But over the years, I've learned that the affordability of a property is really important to a family particularly in the second home or primary residence. So you really have to do some soul searching. And my clients have taught me over the years, buy within your means. All of those 2,400 people, they bought within their means. A few of them hit some bumps along the road, maybe had to do a short sale or a structured foreclosure. But the vast majority of the consumers that I've met have taught me a valuable lesson. Buy within your means. One, two, three. Lock it up.